Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Troy Allen Goliath. Welcome to Trigger Time TV. Hey, Dave Harrington here. Welcome to Trigger Time TV. This episode, we're going to take a look at marksmanship being the ability of an individual to apply the principles to a firearm and produce an acceptable shot group. Of course, now there's many variables that go into that. The individual's knowledge and experience, the type of firearm you're using, the type of ammunition, the type of target, the distance to the target, lighting conditions. There's a lot of basic shooting math variables that come into play that problem. Um, in respect to combat marksmanship, combat marksmanship equals the ability of an individual to deliver fast, accurate, and lethal fire on the enemy without hesitation in adverse conditions within the rules of engagement. So there's quite a few more moving parts. Uh, however, uh, let's just take a look at a simple course of fire that incorporates both marksmanship, of course, the scoring piece, and a little bit of combat movement. So here we go. Eyes and ears going hot. Ready? Remember, when you set up an exercise and fire it, it's never okay to have an unloaded pistol. At a minimum, you'll top it off before you holster. All right, now dig this. I started out real easy, static. Uh, burned down the first four targets and immediately committed to uh, the action of the next target set but I decided to fire while moving to finish the array. Not a big deal. Uh, these are the kind of decisions and actions you're gonna have to take. Um, but one thing that I'd like to point out, normally, you know, everybody understands the crawl, walk, run method of training, practicing, and rehearsing. I get it. However, if you are, you know, legally able to acquire your permit and carry you have to know your rules of engagement. Do your due diligence, local, state, and federal due diligence on what your permit allows you to or allows you not to do. Um, because that is the framework for your basic decision-making process, uh, should I employ my firearm or not. Here's another kind of a startling perspective. Your skill is completely immaterial. Uh, for example, if you're an entry level or, or novice level shooter and you're trying to compare your skill against mine and uh, throwing yourself under the bus doing it, you need to stop. Because the fact of the matter is, regardless of skill level, be it my level or yours, the responsibility is the same on both of us to function and every decision and action you make and take, the first thing that's gonna come under fire, provided you survive that violent encounter, is, uh, you know, can you clearly articulate your decision-making process in, in a court of law? Because your judgment is going to come under question, as it rightfully should. And you need to be able to clearly articulate the who, what, when, where, and why of your decision to employ your firearm. The responsibility is the same. If you have a permit and you legally carry and do carry, the responsibility to adhere to your rules of engagement and conduct yourself professionally is the same for everyone. I'm Dave Harrington. That's all I've got. I'm out. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Bravo Company Manufacturing. 
Bravo Company USA. Beretta. Sako. Tika. Elite Iron. Skinner Sights. Hornady. Unit Solution. North Star Arms. Profense. RSW Aviation. Wolf Premium Oils. And Tacticam.